Do you know that 16% of the entire population has been estimated to suffer from the symptoms of overactive bladder? Are you one of them? Are you tired of constantly searching for the nearest restroom, or feeling the urgency to urinate even when your bladder isn't full? Are you waking up all night to go to the bathroom? Well, then you may have an overactive bladder, but don't worry, because in this video, we will explore some of the most effective ways to stop an overactive bladder and discuss its symptoms and treatment options to help you regain control of your bladder. There are four major symptoms of OAB. Number 1. Frequent Urination People with overactive bladder often find themselves making multiple trips to the bathroom during the day. On average, urinating up to eight times a day is considered normal. And if you are drinking more fluids, you can expect to use the restroom more frequently. But frequent urination without drinking plenty of fluids may be alarming and is often a sign of an overactive bladder. One very common condition related to frequent urination is nocturia. It's when your need to urinate starts bothering you during your sleeping hours. So nocturia may not just make you uncomfortable during sleep, but can also mess with your sleep patterns, potentially leading to feelings of stress and anxiety the next day you wake up. Number 2. Urgency to urinate. It feels like a sudden, intense, and uncontrollable need to urinate. Sometimes it can be so powerful that you may find it very challenging to delay. Number 3. Urinary incontinence. It means having an unintentional and uncontrollable leakage of urine from the bladder. It can happen when your bladder muscles contract involuntarily, making you feel pain-like sensations as if you can't wait to urinate. You may also feel stress incontinence, which means you might experience urine leakage even when you sneeze, cough, or exercise. Now the question that may pop up in your mind is, what causes an overactive bladder? Number 1. Aging. As we get older, the bladder muscles may weaken, making it harder for us to control the bladder than we normally do. Aging also tends to cause a natural decline in how nerves signal the bladder muscles. But that doesn't necessarily mean that an overactive bladder is an evident part of aging. In fact, you can still control various aspects of your health as you age, and can still live a normal and healthy life even in your 80s or 90s. The point is that you can also control your bladder by making some healthy diet and lifestyle choices. I'll also tell you about them, so stay with me. Number 2. Obesity. Excess weight can put pressure on your bladder, leading to increased urgency and frequent urination. With time, this can weaken or damage your urethra, the tube that carries urine out of your body. Moreover, extra abdominal weight can also damage or weaken your pelvic floor muscles, ones that basically make you able to control your bladder. Number 3. Pregnancy and Childbirth Labor comes with a series of continuous uterine contractions to make space for the fetus in the womb. This can also affect pelvic floor muscles, causing symptoms of an overactive bladder in pregnant and birth-giving women. Number 4. Hormonal Changes Hormonal fluctuations, especially in women during menopause, can lead to changes in bladder function. According to the North American Menopause Society, low estrogen levels can cause the urethral and vaginal tissues to become thinner, leading to the symptoms of an overactive bladder. Number 5. Urinary tract infections. Certain bacterial infections in the urinary tract can irritate and sometimes even damage the bladder muscles, causing them to contract abnormally and more frequently. Similarly, certain foods and drinks, such as caffeine, alcohol, spicy foods, and carbonated drinks, can irritate the bladder and trigger bladder overactivity. Number 6. Psychological factors. Stress and anxiety, too, can trigger an overactive bladder. Stress is basically our body's natural fight-or-flight response, but too much of it, especially chronic stress, triggers inflammation in the body, which can also affect our bladder. Okay, so now let's learn about some of the most effective ways to stop an overactive bladder. Number 1. Try to lose extra body fat. As I mentioned before, too much weight can increase pressure on your abdominal and bladder muscles. Too much body fat can also cause insulin resistance, causing your blood sugar levels to remain consistently high. This can cause inflammation in your body, including your bladder and pelvic floor muscles. So, losing extra abdominal fat can reduce pressure on your bladder and pelvic area, which can alleviate OAB symptoms. So try to lose weight with the help of a balanced diet and regular exercise. Number 2. Stay hydrated. 
Well, that may sound strange because drinking more water is going to make you pee more. But it's still important. Why? Because dehydration can irritate your bladder, so aim for proper hydration throughout the day. Monitor your fluid intake and try to spread it evenly, avoiding large amounts before bedtime. Number 3. Dietary Adjustments Certain foods and drinks such as caffeine, alcohol, and spicy foods can make your OAB symptoms even worse, so limiting their consumption can provide you some relief. Another great idea is to keep a food diary with you and note down everything that causes you to pee sooner than normal. This will help you identify trigger items and adjust your diet accordingly. Number 4. Pelvic Floor Exercises Regular exercise in general can help you achieve better control over your muscles, including the ones that control your bladder. Doing Kegel exercises is an even better idea. These exercises are specifically targeted to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles, which can improve bladder control. First, you need to find the correct muscles for Kegel exercise. Simply try to stop the flow of urine midstream and focus on the muscles that you used to stop urinating. Those will be pelvic floor muscles. But note that this stopping during urination is just for identification, not for regular exercise. And you need to do Kegel exercise, preferably with an empty bladder. Sit, stand, or lie down comfortably. Then tighten your pelvic floor muscles as if you're trying to stop the flow of urine. Hold this contraction for a few seconds while aiming for 5 seconds initially. Release and relax the muscles for the same amount of time you contracted them. Aim for 10 repetitions, gradually working your way up to 15 to 20 repetitions per session, multiple times a day. Perform Kegel exercises regularly for best results. Avoid holding your breath or contracting other muscles like your abdomen, thighs, or buttocks. Still, if you're unsure if you're doing Kegels correctly, a pelvic health physical therapist can provide guidance. Another way to strengthen your bladder muscles is via bladder training. All you have to do is gradually increase the time between your bathroom trips. This is like training your bladder to hold urine for a long time, eventually making it stronger. But don't hold your urine for too long as it can be dangerous. Set specific times for bathroom breaks, which can also help regulate your urinating routine and reduce urgency. Stick to your schedule consistently. Number 5. Medications There are various medications available to manage OAB symptoms. For example, Anticholinergic drugs can help relax your bladder muscles, reducing urgency. Beta-3 agonists work by targeting specific receptors, known as beta-3 adrenergic receptors in the bladder. This can help to relax the detrusor muscle, which is the muscle that controls bladder contractions. In simple words, these medications can reduce the frequency and urgency of urination. Plus, they can increase the bladder's capacity to hold urine. Other common medical techniques to treat an overactive bladder include Botox injections and neuromodulation. Your healthcare expert knows best about your condition, so they can better decide which medication or medical procedure works best according to the severity of your condition. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.